Hello, it's the Gemin again. In this video, we will be unboxing the Master Grade RX-78 II Gundam version 3.0. I'll be making a review of this kit as well, so be sure to click that subscribe button to see that review when it goes live. For those that don't know, the RX-78 II is the first ever Gundam. It's THE Gundam that started it all. This kit right here is one of the more modern designs of the Granddaddy Gundam. The other being the Origin version, which I don't have, at least for now. Anyway, this 3.0 kit has been in my backlog for a while now. And finally, here it is, I'll be opening it up with you guys. So taking a look at the box, we can see that the box art isn't that dynamic, right? It's pretty much just the Gundam floating in space with some gun cannons and a gym and the earth in the background, but it is very detailed. From what I know, this is supposed to take after the life-size Gundam that was at Tokyo before we had the unicorn. So all the modernization and surface detail is supposed to be on this kit's armor. Again, this is a 3.0 version. Not sure how many versions of the Granddaddy there are, but I know there are a lot. Just like any other Master Grade, we have the model name written along the side here, and this kit was released back in 2013. Two sides of the box are always the crop box art. On this side of the box, it's some write-up about the 3.0 version in Japanese though. They show us some action poses that this kit can do. And here we have some gimmicks. Looks like there's a lot of moving and sliding armor panels, which I am definitely looking forward to. We have a transformable core fighter and a dedicated core block. So that means we can actually build this kit with the core fighter on display as well. The classic weapons here, the pilot figures, and there's a lot of marking stickers with this kit. I have a feeling that those stickers on the joints won't really do that great, but I guess we'll have to see how that goes in the review. On the other side, we have the front view, the rear view, and the inner frame. It looks like the inner frame is constructed along with some outer armor parts. I guess that can't be helped considering this kit has some really intricate armor separation. Really really looking forward to building this kit. So this kit can house one of Bandai's LED units, but it does say here that it does not come in this box, so I'll have to see if I can find one of those for the review. So here they're featuring what each part can do. The legs there have some shifting and moving armor sections. The backpack can shift open. The hands are pre-molded like some real grade frames. And we have the option to use either the classic joint locks or these magnet coating parts. I'm not fully knowledgeable about the magnet coating and I don't want to share any wrong info. So please leave in the comments if you happen to know what that actually is. Finally, we can see here that this should retail about 4,500 yen, just around 2,250 pesos. A fairly average price for a regular master grade. I can't actually show you how much I got this for this time since this was a gift from my girlfriend. She had a trip to Korea last year so she went ahead and got this for me so big thanks to her. So let's break this Gundam based Korea seal and get this open. So we've got a few packs in here, 7 to be exact, and at the bottom we have the instruction manual. The front cover is basically a copy of the box art as you can see. On the first pages we actually have a lot of lore on the RX-78 II, all in Japanese though so I can't fully appreciate it myself. Okay, so here are all the Master Grade versions of Granddaddy. We have 6 here but we do have the Origin version that came after this 3.0 kit, so I guess that makes 7 different versions of this classic Gundam. We have some other mobile suits and Gundams here at the bottom. And here looks like the development from the RX-78 II up to the Zeta Gundam. We have a really nice illustration here by uh, Tomotake Kinoshita. We have kind of a big spread for the part list here. This looks like kind of a table of context section for the manual. So in these instructions, they tell you which runners you'll need for each part you're assembling. That's really useful since you don't have to get all the runners ready by your side when you don't need them. Okay, so the center fold is pretty basic. Most of the time, it's just what's already shown on the outside of the box. But on this side of the center fold, we have a lot of colors listed for the color guide. And we have this really nice illustration of the kit again. Moving on the end of the manual, we have the usual marking guide. But those are a lot of markings to apply. 
the back of the manual is fairly plain. As for the other stuff, we have this really big sheet of stickers. We don't have any dry transfers or water slides. We only have the one big sheet. Really hope these bronze stickers for the joints do okay on the kit. For the runners, we have runner A in red, gray, white, and clear. Mostly for the core fighter. We have a small runner B in a very classic Gundam blue. Small runner C in clear. Runner D in plain white for some weapon pieces. Runner E in yellow, light lavenderish blue, red, and a lighter shade of red. F1 in white. F2 is just a copy of section of F1. We have G1 and G2 in this grayish off-white. We have H1 and H2 in a sandier tan kind of white. Runner I in the usual inner frame gray. J1 and J2 again in gray. K also in gray. Runner L is in this bluish gray. We have here the pre-molded hands that can pretty much do all this like a regular hand. We have this thin runner of polycaps. And finally SB1, the most basic of basic beam effects ever. I didn't notice this at first but putting all the runners beside each other, we actually have three different shades of grey in there as well. A lot of variations to the regular Gundam colors in this kit. Three shades of grey, three shades of white, two shades of blue, two shades of red, and the only single shade here is the yellow. And yeah, there's a lot of pieces here, so this is gonna be quite a challenging kit to build for sure. I don't usually use stickers except for the usual eye stickers, but this kit comes with so many that I think I just might have to try them out. Anyway, that's it for this unboxing. Looking forward to review this for you guys, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that and all the other unboxings and reviews I make. Thanks for watching. Bye!